Come and do your mathematics. Come and do your mathematics. And Jim Percy will get you through it. There is nothing hard about it. Come on, children, let's get to it. Come and do your mathematics now. Hello, I'm Bob Bear, but everyone calls me Daddy Bear. You can call me that too. I grow flowers. I have a flower business. I sell flowers to my neighbors and friends. I also sell flowers at the market. It's a lot of work, but my wife and children help me. Ah, let me introduce you to my family. This is my wife, Betty Bear. And these are my children, Bessie Bear and Benji Bear. They are packing flowers to sell at the market. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. Bessie and Benji Bear are very excited because they are going to the market with me today. Yes, they are going to help me sell flowers. Mommy Bear, why is this box different from this box and that one? Well, Benji, some of our customers like to buy flowers packed in boxes of different shapes. Yes, like Mrs. Mouse Deer. She likes to buy flowers packed in boxes shaped like cylinders. Is this one a sil... a cylind... No, dear. This isn't a cylinder. It's a pyramid. This one here is a cylinder. We call it a cylinder because it has long straight sides and two circular ends. This means that it has three faces. Oh. Uh... This one here, children, has the shape of a pyramid. We call it a pyramid because it has five faces. Four of its faces are triangles that meet at a point, and it has eight sides and five corners. Oh, I like shapes, Daddy Bear. They are interesting. Tell me the names of other shapes, Daddy Bear, please. That I shall do uh, later. But right now, I want you and Benji Bear to take the boxes and containers outside to the bear wagon or we'll be late to the market. Yes, sir, Daddy, Daddy Bear. Daddy Bear, the children are interested in learning about shapes. Yes, I know. I think the marketplace will be a good place to do that. Hmm, you are right, Mummy Bear. You could teach them to name solid shapes and describe them. Yes, yes, they can learn about three-dimensional shapes like uh, cubes, cuboids, cones, cylinders, and, uh, and... Pyramids and spheres. And when they come back from the market, I could teach them to make a model using three-dimensional objects. Yes, that will be good. Okay, I'd better be going. See you later, dear. Bye. Come one, come all, come to Bob Bear's flower store. Come one, come all, 
Welcome to Bobless Flower Stall. Good morning. Can I have a small sunflower, please? Sure, Mrs. Hippo. Can you pack it in the cylinder-shaped flower box, please? Certainly, Mrs. Hippo. Here you are. That will be 60 sen for the sunflowers and 40 sen for the box. So that's... 60 sen. Let's see. There are 320 sen in 60 sen. And there are 220 sen in 40 sen. So that's 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. They add up to 100 sen. Now... 100 sen is equal to, uh, 1 ringgit. 1 ringgit all together. Why? What a clever little boy. Yes, Benji Bear is very good at counting. Oh, that's good. Bye-bye then. Bye. Bye. Hello, Tom Tiger. How can I help you? Hello, Bob Bear. I want to buy some flowers for Mrs. Tiger's birthday. Mm. Oh, we only have two large sunflowers left, Tom Tiger. Aha, uh -huh, and only one pyramid-shaped box, Tom Tiger. That will do. <laughs> okay, the flowers are one ringgit each. And the pyramid shaped box is also one ringgit. Let me pack them for you. Okay, each flower is one ringgit. So, two flowers would be one ringgit plus one ringgit, which is equal to two ringgit. Then, I have to add another one ringgit to that for the box. So, two ringgit plus one ringgit equals three ringgit. Here you are, Tom Tiger. Thank you. And how much do I have to pay you? Hmm. That will be three ringgit altogether. Very good, Bessie Bear. That was really fast. Well done, Bessie Bear. And here's the three ringgit, Bob Bear. Thank you. You are welcome. Bye then. Bye, Bye Tom Tiger. Well, we've sold everything. Our work is done. Let's walk around the marketplace and, like I promised, I'll teach you more about shapes, okay? Yeah! Teddy Bear, look! That ball is so beautiful! Oh, yes it is! But it's not a ball, Benji Bear. It's a snow globe. Oh, a snow globe! Wow! Do you know what shape it is? No! Well, it's a spear. Oh, a spear! Daddy Bear, is that ball a spear too? Yes, Benji Bear, it is. You see, a spear is a solid round object. It has a curved face with no corners and no sides. Would you like to buy the snow globe? It costs 10 ringgit. But I'll let you have it for 8 ringgit. Yes! Uh, well, I'd like to, but uh, I think I'll wait till next week. Thank you anyway. Oh! Sure, no problem. Bye. Bye! Good morning. Any crystals for you? Good morning. Uh, we are just looking. This is a cone, children. It looks just like a pyramid, Daddy Bear. Yes, it does, but it's different. Like Mummy Bear told you at home, a pyramid has five faces. Four of its faces are triangles that meet at a point, and it has eight sides and five corners. But a cone has only two faces, and one of these faces is its round base. It has only one corner at the top and one side. Oh! Good! Now that you understand, let's see if we can find other shapes around here.
Ah, what do we have here? It's a... Uh, it's a... Uh, uh, a box? Yes, it is. But I was asking you about its shape, Benji Bear. I know, I know. It's a square. Well, uh, yes and no, Bessie Bear. See, this face here is a square. But when it's a solid with many square faces like this, we call it a cube. Benji Bear, can you count how many faces there are on this cube? One, two, three, four, five, and six. It has six faces, Daddy Bear. Very good. Yes, a cube has six faces. Now, I'm going to count its sides. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. It has twelve sides. Now, you must remember that the sides of a cube are all of the same length. Bessie Bear, you know where the corners are. So, can you count how many there are? Okay. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight corners all together. Exactly. A cube has eight corners. Ah, oh, here's another shape that you should know. It's a cuboid. Hmm, looks like a cube to me. Well, yes, but... A cuboid is made up of rectangles, not squares. It has six faces too, but four of them are longer than the other two. Uh, Daddy Bear, that would mean that a cuboid would also have twelve sides, right? Right. Mm, let me guess. A cuboid has eight corners just like a cube, right? Right again. Because you did so well on shapes, I'm going to buy each of you an ice cream. And then, we'll go to the playground. Hello, Fendi Fox. Uh, hello. Uh, nice day, huh? Yes, a lovely day. Come on, I'll buy you an ice cream too. Eh, uh, okay. Hold it! Randy Fox, do you want to buy that cute shape box? Eh, uh, what box? The one you are holding. Uh, oh, this box. Buy it? No, 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 no. I, uh, I wanted to borrow it. <laughs> Dear Fendi Fox, you can't borrow things at the marketplace. You have to buy them. So, why don't you go and put it back before Tom Tiger comes along? Tom Tiger? Uh, okay, I'll, uh, I'll put it back. Good. I'll buy you an ice cream if you promise never to borrow things from the market again. Okay, I, I, uh, I promise. Daddy Bear, look, shapes. Oh, wow. <laughs> yes, I know. Now, before I let you go off and play, you will have to name the shapes and answer some of my questions. Okay? Yes, yes, okay. What's the shape of that red object, Benji Bear? It's a sphere, Daddy Bear. Yes, good. How many faces has a sphere got? Uh, uh, one. A sphere has one face, Daddy Bear. Yes, very good. Now, Bessie Bear, name the blue shape. This is a cuboid, Daddy Bear. Good. And how many sides has it got? Uh, ten. No, no. Twelve sides. Well done. 
Yes, a cuboid has 12 sides. Your turn, Benji Bear. Go to the green object and tell me its shape and how many corners it has. It's a pyramid and it has... Uh, five corners. Yes, very good. Now, Bessie Bear, run to the yellow object and tell me what shape it is. It's a cute daddy bear and it has 12 sides, 8 corners and 6 faces. <laughs> That's good. You remember all its features. Benji Bear, the purple one. Quick. This is a cone and it has one side, one corner and two faces. Is that right, Daddy Bear? Excellent. Okay, both of you go to the orange cylinder. We are here. <laughs> Bessie, how many sides has it got? Two. Benji Bear, does it have any corners? No! How many faces has it got? Three! Well done, you two. All right, go ahead and play. Have fun, children. Yeah! Look at the ping pong ball, it is a spear. Pick up a cylinder, put it down right here Add a cone as two faces and one rounded base These are the shapes that you will learn Look at the ping pong ball, it is a spear Pick up a cylinder, put it down right here Add a cone as two faces and one rounded base These are the shapes that you will learn made up of all squares There are many shapes for us to see These are solid shapes just for you and for me You can use them every day in the school Don't forget to use them when you get home Cuboid, pyramid and spear Cylinder, cone and also cube Did you enjoy yourself at the market? Yes, we had so much fun. Ask us anything you want about ships, Mommy Bear. We know everything. That's good. Well, actually, I've made a model using the shapes that you learned. Here it is. Wow, Mommy Bear made a robot. Yes, I did. I used a ping pong ball for the head, a match box for the body, and straws for the arms and legs. And I used dice for its feet. It's so cute, Mom. Thank you, dear. Now, can you name the solid shapes that I used? Okay, the ping pong ball is a sphere and the match box is a cuboid. And, and the straws are cylinders and the dice are cubes. Yes, very good. Very good. You do know your shapes. Thank, Thank you, you Mommy Bear. Bear. After tea, I want each of you to make a model using the solid shapes that you learned. There are lots of things around the house that have those shapes. So, look for them and make your models, okay? Okay, okay Mommy Bear. Bear. Just a moment, yes. Well, while you were busy at the playground, I decided to buy each of you a present. Snow, Snow clothes, yeah! 
Oh, thank you, Daddy Bear. It's beautiful. Thanks. Oh, I love it. <laughs> They earned their presence. I hope you had as much fun learning about three-dimensional shapes as Bessie and Benji did. Until next time. Bye bye. 